just don't get it. No. I mean, I know that you and her have fallen out before and she can be a bit funny. And Dad said that she was having problems. Well, there must be something else, something that we don't know about. All she said was, I'm sorry, didn't she? Right, so she stabbed him and tried to cut his throat. That's not an accident or lashing out, Sal. That's, that's, that's her trying to kill him. I can't lose him, Sally. I can't lose him. Dear Sabney, DC Chowdhury. Yeah, right, what's happened, what she said? We'll interview her again once we've heard Mr Metcalf's version of events. If he wakes up. What did she say happened? At like the moment, we can't see. Well, she's already told us. She told Sally that she was sorry, didn't she? That's a confession. She tried to kill him. Damn. She's a murderer. Hey, I'll get that. Oh, too late. I've got it. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not. Me too. Right, Mrs Barlow, let me carry over the no, threshold. No, no. You can carry me into our new place. Threshold carrying is for putting down roots, and I think my roots for this house are deep enough. Right, new start, everything with Gary, don't you? Yes, 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 yes. Listen, I'm going to go and check on Daniel before I go to work. OK, we'll send him my love. I will do. What do you think that's all about? Don't know, but I've got a funny feeling I'm about to find out. <laughs> Bye. They're still in there. Mary said she passed speed down and it said closed until further notice. Yeah. Ta. Could an argument get that out of hand? In my experience, yes. Yeah. Mm. So, you told the police that you saw them arguing? Well, it was like... He wasn't being physical with her, but when they went inside, it was... Uh, it sounded stupid and it, it was getting dark. What? Before he walked away, it was like he locked her in. Has she ever said anything to you about her and Jeff rowing? No, not really, but... I think Jeff's got a temper. Mm. You know, he had a go at her once. When I was there, he didn't know. It was pretty nasty. But, you know, then again, couples snap at each other sometimes, don't they? I know I do with Brian. Gail caught her crying once. And did you hear about the trick that went wrong, getting locked in the box? Yeah, yeah, jiggle it, Jeff. We were there. No, it was after that. Flipping, eh? Oh, sorry. We should make a bit of noise when you're moving about. I mean, for someone who never stops gabbing, you're like a... like a flaming ninja when you gob shut. Yeah, my mum says I'm always unnaturally stealthy. Says I should wear a bell like a cat. Your sister's back. Hello. Oh. Happy days. If I'd have had to look at another picture of you dipping your toe in pool. Well, I'll have missed you too. Oh, you're back. Oh, it's our max up before eight o'clock. What's happened? I've got to practice my speech for that stupid outreach ceremony. What, the litter picking thing? I thought we weren't bothered about that. It's not just litter picking. Mary wants him to do the closing speech. I think he's a bit nervous. I'm not. Just don't want to mess it up. You'll be fine, mate. I'll go through it with you anyway. Yeah, and, and I booked us a table at the Land Rose for afterwards. So we've all got something to look forward to. Go on, Ninja Girl. Pulling all stops out, aren't you? David. That washing machine's only half full. If you'd have told me, I'd have put some more in. That is a waste. Mm. Bet you're glad you're back, are you? moved in up the street. Yeah, I know. She told me. Well, were you going to tell me? Uh, no. Why would I? Because I've been around it talking about her dad's not really ideal, is it? <sighs> Mrs. is already asking questions. What do I mean to do about it? Got any idea where the mum is? No. Will you look for her? Why should I have to flip and look for her? Because I thought you cared about Kelly. I do. In fact, I sometimes think I'm the only one who does. Go to this community outreach thing later. 
Did you know she's getting an award? Why would I know about that? She's getting it for Endeavour. They give it to kids who overcome adversity. It's basically because everyone knows she was forced to leave her school and is having a really tough time of it. Right. I'll put feelers out. Not for you, for her. She's had to endeavour enough. No, Oliver, I am not picking you up. Come on, you need to walk. You've got legs, you need to use them. Come on. Hey! 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 Oh, you are getting too big for this. Well, you keep picking him up. It's not going to help him realise that, is it? So, what are you two up to today? <sighs> messy play at the community centre. Ooh, can I come? You hate messy play. Everybody hates messy play apart from him. Oh, a load of screaming kids running around, chucking paint. Sounds brilliant. Plus... I get to spend some time with you two. All oh, right. So you think you coming along is going to make up for what you did? So you're going to call off the solicitors then? <sighs> don't you know I'm sorry? Uh, right then, don't be late. Come on. Ooh, brilliant. Right, come on, we're we'll walking. Come on, sweetheart. Messy play, messy play. <laughs> hey! Sorry. <laughs> Could I have, um... A bigger sandwich and a cup of tea, please. Right. Poor Asha. I thought she'd agreed to go back to school. Well, the closer it's getting to Monday, the worse she's getting. You can barely leaving the house again. She was meant to be helping me with the Yorp Awards today. Yorp? Yes. Youth Outreach Programme. Outreach is one word. Oh, it's intentional, Roy. When Nigel asked me to be involved with the Yorp Awards, he explained that they were in choppy legal waters with the Milky Drinks Company. Oh. You know, maybe if we can persuade her to come and see her friends, Monday won't be as big a deal. I was wanting someone to help out with the teas afterwards. I thought perhaps her and Amy. And then uh, Asha can always nip to the back if things get too much. Well, it's worth a try. Thank you, Roy. So what's happened with Asher, anyway? Uh, not really my place. Place to say? Yeah, yeah. But I heard most of it. Someone sent a photo out of here. Like, revenge porn or what? Nina. All right. All right. Sometimes people are horrible, aren't they? Sometimes. No, but Imran's in there now. Here, let me tell you. What have they said? Well, not tell me anything else. But just come here. Hey. All I know is she's been arrested, right, under suspicion of assault. Okay, and I heard her tell Sally that she was sorry. I should never have left her. It's okay. It's all right. You couldn't have predicted that this was going to happen, and could you? What about Jeff? What's he said? What, Ryan? What's he said? No. He's still not conscious, are you? She might have killed him. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. <laughs> Dad. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's OK. 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 It's she tried to kill me. <laughs> Any joy? I don't know yet. Amy's with her. She's the only one she seems to listen to. Hey. You okay? Yes. Just getting nostalgic, the old place. Eileen and Sean are lovely housemates, but by gum, I do love a house that keeps its throw cushions in order. <laughs> You're dressed? Yeah, well, I haven't said that I'm going yet. Honey, you don't have to. But if you want to, we're there. I'm fine. Right, 
Little Red Riding everything. Let's get your kit off. Get in the bath. I don't understand how he started off finger painting and then ended up using his whole body as a brush. You all right? Oh, we think he's a bit weird that he's the only one covered in paint. None of the others were. Oh, you're just having fun, aren't you, mate? Come on, give it that. He's a good boy. OK. Look, I don't want to be one of them pushy mums who fusses all the oh, time. please don't tell me you're worried about him painting himself rather than the paper. He's only three. No, it's not just that, Steve. His key worker asked me for a word the other day and she said she was a bit worried because he wasn't hitting his milestones or something. No, he's a bright lad. No, but it's not just about being bright, is it? It's physical stuff as well, like like not being able to hop. No, that's just genetics. It's the McDonald's, that. Should see my mum falling all over the place because Steve, of... Steve, I'm serious. I don't want him falling behind. If he thinks he's not as good as all the other kids, then... Well, oh, I don't know. Things like that stick with kids, don't they? Hmm. Still clearing my paints. They're all looking at me. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Just ignore them, darling. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Oi, what are you staring at? Nothing. I don't have to look. Do you bruv? It's all up here in the bank. <laughs> Mate, that is nasty. Clothes. No clothes. No clothes. No clothes. This was a mistake. Can we just go? Stop it! Now. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. That's it. Pick on the funny goth girl. Don't even look at her. A bit late for that. <laughs> yeah, that's all lads have been doing. Look in. Oh, there it is again. Oh, mate, careful. She's going to hit you with the glove. Not the glove. <laughs> Not the glove. Oh. No! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Nina? She's broke my nose. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get, you perv. Not good. She's still very shaken. But the good news is that Jeff's finally woke up. Oh, the good news? Well, it is if it means that she's not going to be charged with murder. But what's she saying happened? I, I've not really been able to get much out of her. Beyond what she said in the 999 call. Which was? Wait, you've heard it. She said, I just killed my husband. Oh, my God. Wait, she's saying she tried to kill him. No, 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 wait. If she's saying that, it was obviously in self-defence. She must have thought that her life was in danger. That's what I presumed as well, but... But, but what? She also said that it was all her fault. Well, then she's not in her right mind. She's in shock. Probably. No, no, there's no probably about it. This is what he's done to her. He's brainwashed her into thinking that all this is her fault. Yes, but unfortunately that is a very difficult thing to prove. I will... I will go and speak to her again. OK, just give her a bit more time. And what do we do until then? Honestly, the best we can hope for is that Jeff's version of events contradicts that 999 call. What have you got to say? It's not broken. It's a nosebleed. We were just standing here. Yeah. Listen, he got what he deserved, OK? People like you have been making my daughter's life a misery. Dad, Dev, this isn't helping. Asher, nice one. You see what you've done? He didn't say anything. Oi, you shut up and all. Get us break your nose too. Amy! Whoa, 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 let's just calm down, shall we? Hey, you see this? See this? This is all down to you. Dev! Oh, I said I'm sorry. Dev! Calm down, she's a kid. Well, she's a kid. No, my aunt, she's a kid. Yeah, they're all kids and kids make mistakes. You're a good man, Gary. <laughs> Look, I don't need your help, OK? Kelly. Kelly? What is it? What's going on? What are you talking about? It's Kelly. Are you sure you're up to this, Jeff? I'm fine. Can they stay? If you prefer that, yes. What's important is that you tell me, in as much detail as possible, what happened. I don't feel like there's much to tell, really. We were arguing about her drinking, as usual. Just that? You weren't arguing about anything else? No. Then she hit me. She stabbed you? I don't really remember that. I know she thinks I nag her about the boozing, but... 
She's admitted she's got a problem. And the argument about her drinking aside, can you think of a reason why she'd attack you? No. In all honesty, I can't. Amy, who was that girl Dev was showing at? Oof. Kelly Nealon, Shrek cowboy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Nealon? Do you know who her dad is? Well, she's always banging on about him living abroad, way on business or something. Anything else? No. So, she was like, nah, I'm not gonna hit you with my glove. I'm gonna hit you with my fist instead. And bang, Jamie's nose, like, explodes. It was savage. Sorry, am I boring you? A bit, yeah. I thought you meant to be practising that. Oh, there you are. It's in the big speech. Yeah, I was going for it now. All oh, right, we just wanted to catch you. So, um, you going to Philandro still? Because Adam's bailed on me, but I really want to go because I think the calamari is lush, but I don't want to go if it's just me and Mum. Yeah, I'm not missing the calamari, I'll be there. Can you two stop talking about calamari and let me practise my speech? Ooh, yeah. All right, good luck. You'll smash it. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Max Turner, and this is my community. If you look community up in the dictionary, it says it's a group of people. Why did you have to shout it like that? OK, I'm sorry, OK? I shouldn't have done well, this. I just but... want it over. just want to forget it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Come on. Do you want to come back with us? No. No. You lot gone, OK? OK. It's like you said, it's going to get better. Hope Jamie's nose didn't hurt your hand too much. Nah. And what you said before about forgetting it, it's not gonna happen. Uh, all right, so what are you supposed to do then? Punch everyone who talks about it? Nah. Own it. It happened. It's not going away, so why hide it? And never apologise to your dad, to anyone. It's your body, it's you, and people who react like little perv by outside, well, we weren't worth your time anyway. You're beautiful and strong. Show them that. And hot chocolate is good too. Do you want a cookie with that? No, I'm good. Nice speech. Thanks. Of course, you would have been on much firmer ground, morally speaking, if you hadn't hit that boy. I know. My hand's killing. And liberty comes with her hands dappled in blood. It's hard to shake hands with her. Byron. Oscar Wilde. <sighs> it's always wild. And it has to be Victorian, didn't it? You had to slay me with a Victorian. Right, I'm popping to the shops and I'll see you there. Don't be late. Now, Gail's booked uh, a table for us at Palandros after. I don't know. I guess she likes the calamari. Well, no, I don't know if she knows about Leanne's issues with Valandra's. Nick, yeah, anyway, you're going to have to take it up with her, right? I can't be bothered. No, Max's bit's not on till right at the end, so I've just nipped home. Better keep my eyes open, if I'm honest. Mm. All right, well, if you get there before me, mine's a calamari and all. All right. Nice one. Bye. Excuse me, which room is... Never mind. I don't understand. Yasmin and I fight sometimes, sure, but we love each other. Oh, is that what you call it? Love? Oh, yeah. Is she allowed in here, sir? Do you want to know what happened? My gran was trying to protect herself from him from months of abuse. Right, you need to calm down. No, Elia, you're wrong. I love Yasmin. I'd never hurt her. Why, he's a liar! Look at him! My gran was scared for her life. Tell them about locking her up and leaving her in the box. Oh, we've been through this before. He didn't know that she couldn't get out. Alia, this is not the time. All the lies. Rinse in the business. He nearly died because of what she did. OK, you can't be here. No, you can't get away with this. He can't get away with it. Alia, he's just, ill. Just, just get her out, will you? No, son, it, it's OK, it's OK. This must be hard on her, too. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare play the nice guy now. He's evil! I wish he'd finished the job! Do, do, do just get her out. Alia!
Mike's worst fears have come true. Psychiatrist Rochelle must steady his ship. Set a reminder for isolation stories tonight at nine. A special meeting in Mumbai as Dag Dougie discovering his showman pass as he hits the stage. Absolutely India Manx in Mumbai, right here next. <laughs> 